uh, robotic process flow diagram so it has a so we have a some package called robotic process automate uh, robotics process flow diagram there is a smart flow activity smart flow dot activity so you have to install this smart flow dot activity so that is our new good package once you install that smart uh, flow activity into the your ui path so you will get a robotic process flow diagram just type r, r, r b f t so there is a state change state, uh, state change so initially you have to fill your process for example if you have a each robot has some process some stages right so within that uh, each stage what is the stage name so here is a json file uh, where is that here is a json file so you have to create a one json file in any location and i'm opening the notepad what it is basically is currently i have a three stages so first you have to mention the stage name and the, this one font awesome name so you can search font awesome here font font awesome icons okay if you search font awesome icons so you can find the font awesome icons for this this uh, let me select the icons which is related to that uh, uh, that stage okay for example see here so these are all the font awesome icons so this is a, oh, uh, just select this address hyphen book so like that you just mention the so that is a font awesome icon name so again this is the second stage load data into the uh, into application that is the second stage of load data so this is the third stage so these are all the stages uh, let me run again uh, so here so i get some workflow by using that uh, um, activity so this is my activity stage to stage change so here you have to mention which stage you have to change so in the json you have mentioned the home age stages currently we have a three stages so that is the index of that stage or you can mention the stage name full, full stage name so what is the status current status it is a in progress or complete or not yet progress so currently i am in progress and uh, is it is it the first stage is it the last stage you have to mention the true or false values if it is a first stage you just mention the true if it is the last stage you may change mention the false and json path you have to give i give the part of the json which is created and you can give the, um, the tool tip it will display under that stage so here here you can also uh, let me go to the second uh, stage uh, here in the for each loop so this for each loop if you observe here there is a stage change so here i am i created the i value that means in how many number of transaction is completed yet so like that you can give live live status so let me run uh, this project so here uh, okay i'm just running this project uh, let us see how it will work. So, first it load it, it pays the dynamic HTML rpfd.html. So, see, so it open the UI demo.dxc. So, if you observe the back side of the HTML, the robot name is a folder name and the start time when it started and the stages. These stages are we mentioned in the uh, JSON file. So, you can configure any number of stages. If you if you add then more stages in the uh, JSON, it will add here. So can you observe here? So the load data into the application in, in the below there is a number is changing. That is a transaction number eight currently eight to nine. So nine to ten. Once the transaction is completed, this number is changing. So on the above the stage. So if the stage is uh, uh, currently in progress, the border will be the green color. So if the stage is completed, border everything is a green color. So see here, it created and it created the, uh, it uh, filled all the details and the status is a stage. So this is our, let me show you uh, the workflow. If you see here, so there is a tag is also calculated, turnaround time. So first it will create a, so you are mentioning the, that uh, each stage you have a one column called is it first stage, is it last stage, 
if you give the is it first stage true it will start calculating the time so is it uh, last stage is uh, true so it will subtract the end time with the uh, first that means starting time and calculate the turnaround time how much time it took so this is how the, the workflow looks like so it has the icons it's coming from the input uh, that means font awesome so this is a uh, my project so i developed in the uh, uh, that means that is a custom activity so thank you